fine, and that would not be good for either of us. Come along for the ride as I turn this room from a bone of contention to a zone of perfection. Today we're off to see Lee and Maurizio's place. Well, I got a call from Lee and she's feeling really bad about taking over this room that's become a junk room. Maurizio has just had it with all of her stuff and has thrown his arms up and said, here, just put everything in here. It's our guest room. <laughs> it's just a dumping ground. And it's probably the, the peacekeeping room between my husband and I. I. I get very tense when I see that room, so the door always has to stay closed because it, it just puts me on edge. I know that behind that door, there, there's a monster lurking, and, uh, <laughs> and I don't, don't like it. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Yeah. Hi, Helen. Maurizio. Hi, Maurizio. Yeah, nice Italian you. name. Yes, it yeah, is. Good to meet you. This is Nelly. Uh, Nelly. Nelly's friendly. Yes, she is. Oh, that'd be great. So this is Beautiful. our main living area, living room. I'll show you the rest of the house. Okay. We've done, I think, a good job of controlling most of the clutter down here. Show you our master bedroom. Ta-da! Oh, you guys are organized. <laughs> Where's the clutter? <laughs> show me the clutter. <laughs> this is our tension room. Find the oh, here's the clutter. <laughs> yes. So, what's this room used for? Can't you tell? It's a guest room. It's a guest room. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a drop zone. <laughs> yes, that's unfortunately okay. what it's become. Yes. Wow. So, how, whose stuff is this? Mostly mine. <clears throat> yeah, it's mostly hers. As he clears his throat. <laughs> yes. yes. So, tell me what's in here. Let's start with up there. What have you got up there? <laughs> Those are bows and gift bags. Okay, so that's and your gift center, so uh, to speak. Well, there's also wrapping paper under the bed. Under the bed is... Okay, can I look under the bed? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you'd like. Um, yeah, you got a lot of wrapping paper. I think you got some other stuff under there, too. Right? There's a few other things, yeah. This guest room is not very guest friendly. It doesn't say welcome. It says go away. And there's photo albums under there. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of photo albums in here. Do you like to take pictures? Here we do. Yeah. Yeah. How come there aren't any on the walls? Uh, I think I'd rather see them on the wall than under the bed so we can true. enjoy them, right? Absolutely. Okay, what else have we got here? Wow, um, there's a ton of photo albums. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even lift that, but wow. Yeah, yeah. You've there's got a, lot. a ton. What's um, in here? That's our linen closet. Because there is no linen closet here. So what would you do if a guest was staying in here and you needed a towel? I'd get it before they came. Oh. <laughs> no long-term guests. They only come for the weekends. Well, exactly. the, the problem here is that it's not accessible in the area that you're going to use it. So we'll see if we can yeah. fix that for you. Yeah. This room is a hodgepodge of things that don't belong in here. And I suspect they belong elsewhere. But the problem is there is no home for them. Now, do you have any other hidden treasures in here? These are gorgeous. Thank you. Look at that. Very juice. nice. <laughs> I like mine. when I wear nice shoes. I do like when you wear nice shoes, but huh, have you seen behind the door? These are my winter shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are winter uh, shoes. The secret is out. You have a shoe thing. <laughs> no. All right, let's have a look and at And this is our walk-in closet. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, walk really over good. a closet. <laughs> oh, wow, it's deep. It's that yeah, way. It's that deep. Way. And whose comforters are these? That's a feather bed. Okay. That's a big piece in a small <laughs> home. It's costing you a lot of real estate space. Maurizio appreciates a tidier house more than I do. So it, it means more to him than it does to me. So how do you guys compromise? How do you deal with that? You're looking at it. <laughs> is this the compromise? I, had to, I don't have a personal room. Lee does. That room is coming between them, and I'm going to have to help them fix it. So how are you feeling right now going into this? A little apprehensive. I think, I think if we get it organized, I, I can stick to an organizing system. It's just taking the time investment to get there. The karma of the space is off. 
you are going to have a space that you're going to be proud of and not have that dirty little secret upstairs where you have to <laughs> shut the door. Lee and Maurizio have totally different organizing styles. I think that's why she's called me. I think that she's feeling kind of guilty that she's made this one room a dumping ground. And although she has a great sense of humor about it now, they're newlyweds. If they wait much longer and don't have an intervention, that clutter can come between them and cause a problem in their marriage. We used to fight a lot about my stuff. Give, Give away. away. Give Keep. away. That doesn't belong to him. How long ago was this? Two or three years. Okay, it's not going to happen. Lee and Maurizio are newlyweds with a room that's driving them apart. So how do you guys compromise? How do you deal with that? You're looking at it. <laughs> Is this the compromise? I, had, I don't have a personal room. Lee does. When Lee doesn't know what to do with something, she just shoves it in the room and shuts the door. Um, yeah, you got a lot of wrapping paper. I think you got some other stuff under there, too. There's a few other things, yeah. So we're going to have to deal with it now. This room has become a dumping ground for Lee. What we want to do is turn it into a guest bedroom. So the first thing I need to do is get all the clutter out. The shoes, the mess, the photos, all of this stuff out. Heavy furniture, gone. Then I want to reposition the bed. And of course, before I do that, <laughs> she's got all this stuff under the bed. We're going to reposition the bed and then just bring in what we need to. Because we used to fight a lot about my stuff. I want to be able to open a door, walk in, walk out. I want to be able to open the closet and use it. If it was up to me, I'd be piling a big garbage bag and a for sale sign, and that would not be good for either of us. So we just agreed to just leave my stuff alone. If it's somewhere in the house you don't want to see it, put it in the room, and I'll deal with it when I'm ready to deal with it. But at the end of the day, it's, it's our house. So I think that's the underlying theme, that it's your room, but it's our house. Homeowners are Lee and Maurizio, and they have a spare bedroom ha that has become a dumping ground. So we're going to go in there. The mission is to empty out that room before we start purging. First up, everything in the guest room needs to be cleared out and sorted. Lee and I need to prepare the dining room so we can start the purging process as things start to make their way downstairs. There was more up there than I realized, I'd have to say. Is that right? Yeah, it's a bit overwhelming. Is There's it? There's a lot of stuff. Okay, well, you yeah. know what? We have a whole bunch of stuff to go through, so yeah. let's get cracking then. Okay. Okay, this tray, for example. My grandma made it. I'm, I'm not comfortable sending it to Goodwill. I know there's a sentimental attachment to this, yeah. obviously. Your grandmother made it. Of course, you're attached right. to it. My question is, what are you going to be saving it for, and when is it ever going to come out of storage? Uh, That's the thing. That's not a bad question. I'll get back to you with a better answer. <laughs> um, at this point, I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, we'll put them in the ponder. Ponder? I, ponder? I didn't know there was a ponder. No, we got to make a decision right now. Boarding passes? We'll see, yeah, because the plan was to do a scrapbook, so all this stuff mattered. But and how, how long ago was this? Two or three years? Okay, it's not gonna happen. Lee is a classic procrastinator. And you know what? The road to clutter is paved with good intentions. But I'm here to help. It's time to put those good intentions to the test. It's time to crack the whip. Where are your wedding pictures anyway? <laughs> I haven't picked them up yet. And how long ago was this? <laughs> um, hmm. More than a year? My strategy when I'm dealing with a procrastinator is to hold them accountable. When are you going to get the job done? Let's schedule it in. Let me know when you've done it. Okay, that's homework. Okay. Before I come back. <laughs> that's a good idea. For the final reveal, you okay. need to get the wedding pictures. Today, I can be the taskmaster, but I can't stand over Lee for the rest of her life. I need to give her some long-term solutions that make it easy for her to put things away every single day. Okay, I want to ask you about this piece here. Okay, yep. Can we let that go? It is practical right now because we keep our linen in it. We don't have yeah. anywhere for linen. 
items should be where you're going to use them. And right. if you're having a shower, <laughs> it just makes more sense to have the linen either in the bathroom or in the bedroom. The whole thing is about simplifying your life. There's lots of space on these bathroom shelves for everyday towels. And there's room in these cupboards in the master bedroom for the extra linens that Lee's been storing in the guest room. Now we can say goodbye to the linen closet, but there's still a lot left to be purged. Give away. Keep. Give away. That doesn't belong to him. Keep. That's your call. <laughs> Not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Uh, I'd like to keep it. My grandma made it. Um, uh, a hat. You can have it. Okay, the keep is nice. full now. That's right. it. Uh, give away. I like that one. But you already have a big bear. <laughs> These things take up space, so I'm going to have to crack the whip on this stuff. All right. You can give it away. <laughs> and I think we can probably get a lid on that now. Well, you've been amazing at letting stuff go. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because you look like you're about to break down and cry. You I think okay? Because I'm tired. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I have a tissue or something and you can stop. I've pushed Lee to make a lot of decisions that she's been putting off for a long time. The room is now empty, but forcing quick decisions can lead to regret. I was planning on going outside and recovering a few pieces because I was You so were? Lee is drained. She's been having a lot of trouble purging. And I think the reason for that is that she's second guessing her decisions. But we have made good progress and it's time to move on to the next step. So how was last night for you? Um, it was fine. It was good. It was, I was tired. I was planning on going outside and recovering a few pieces, but because I was you so tired. You were? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> One of those stuffed animals I wanted back. My feeling was that Things went real easy with you yesterday in terms mm -hmm. of letting things go. And I, I, you know, I really need to crack the whip today. And I'll tell you why. Okay. We are dealing with the linens and the towels. Tattered towels and mismatched sheets take up valuable space. It's a common problem, and I'm going to tackle it with Lee. Keep. Uh, get away. Giveaway. Keep. All right, so that's the giveaway pile. Okay. And let's look at our keep. What do we got? Well, that's pretty good. I think you pared it down to half. I think so. Fabulous think job. Well. Okay. Okay. Great. And people procrastinate about making a decision as to what to keep or what to let go of because they're afraid they might make a mistake. Now, Lee has been pretty good about her decisions, except for the hesitation over the teddy bear. What you got there? No, I can't believe you did that. Honestly, hey, you know, this is why I always want to take the bags with me at the end of day one, but <laughs> they're here for you. Honestly, if you want it that badly that you're picking through the garbage, you can I have think it. You, you can have it, but it's going to cost you later because that's gonna take up space. <laughs> All Just right, remember I, that. I'm willing. I've put Lee to work removing outdated products from the bathroom shelves to make way for the towels. And we're emptying out this hallway closet next to the master bedroom to store her fabulous shoe collection. Meanwhile, I have a space-saving storage tip for her. Okay, so you wanted to hold on to these university jackets for memorabilia. Right. They were very bulky. So yeah. as a solution, I got one of these vacuum bags. And oh. it's a storage bag where you can just suck out the air. Okay. And look at this. It only uses a third of the space. That's great. So I thought this was a great solution because you decided you wanted to keep this feather bed. Oh. We can put one of these uh, dryer sheets in yeah. and it'll keep it fresh smelling as well. Just oh, a little okay, great. tip there for you. So let's just slowly zip this up. Seal them across. Yeah, okay. It's like a Ziploc bag. Teamwork. All right. All right, look at that. Much better. And safe, too. Yeah. I love it. Up and away go the extra linens and out-of-season clothing. Perfect. 
Lee finally picked up her wedding pictures, so I've put her to work framing them. Now that we've purged, we can get to work on creating a dual purpose closet in the guest room with lots of shelving for Lee's gift and photo collections and a place for her guests to hang their clothes. Finally, a fresh coat of paint to match these funky dressers will give this guest room an inviting, welcoming feel. Okay. Hello. Hey. Finally, I can look you eye to eye. <laughs> okay, so you guys are all set and ready to go. Yep. Don't worry about a thing. It'll all be all taken right. care of. You're in good hands. Okay. Keys? Bye-bye. Bye -bye. That's it. fun. That's all it. All right. Alrighty. Next time you see it, it'll be amazing. I, I hope you'll good. like it. Don't I'm sure you'll you like it. See you later. Okay. Bye. Have we'll fun. See you soon. Oh. I want to be a guest in my room. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>a dirty little secret upstairs but by pushing her to make decisions I've broken her procrastination habit now I've given her a foolproof system that's gonna keep her on track I've created storage for everything so Lee won't need a dumping zone anymore this easy to access hallway closet is ideal for everyday shoes and I'm labeling containers to make it easy for her to put things away now this room says welcome The bed is the star of any guest room, but this one was buried. We cleared the clutter, put the bed on an angle, and dressed it with Lee's beautiful linens that were hidden in the linen closet. Well, now you remember this room was Lee's dumping ground. Yes, it was. Right? Right. Now it's a functional guest room for everyone to enjoy. Your guests actually have a place. Look at really? that. We're going to be spoiling them. Stuff. We were able to make space by removing the bulky linen closet. We purged the worn out sheets and towels and found a place to store what was left. Now, this is a comfortable and efficient guest room. I know, you're excited <laughs> to see the closet. Excited. Let's do it. Here we go. Yeah! Wow. Look at this bad boy. Dude. Whoa. Wow, this works. This closet was so poorly lovely. used. We got rid of the clutter, added custom shelving, and now it serves a dual purpose. Yeah. We've got all your photo albums here. Yeah. Photos, extra toiletries for your guests. Right. We've got your gift cards here. And this is a great place for luggage. Oh yeah, for right? our guests. They can bring the blanket down if they're feeling cold. Right. And they can hang up their clothes. Amazing. Nice Easily touch. accessible. <laughs> I am very happy with that. That is yeah. absolutely stunning. This looks great. How does this room feel now? Very oh. calming. Very cool. Yeah. We can entertain every I night have now. no problem <laughs> keeping people over here now. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. Oh. And it's you have wonderful. a home for everything. Yeah. The funny thing is that you do have a lot of storage for a house this size. Mm -hmm. But it just wasn't being used effectively. I want, to, I want to show you this. Whoa! Okay, so remember your shoes, Lee? They were at the back of the closet yes. in the guest room. A little hard to find, yes. These are the shoes that you use most often. Cool. I've got another surprise for you. Really? I just what else have you been you know, up to? These two for me. Okay, so look at over here. Oh, the laminate Lee. here. Yes, exactly. Oh, so you get that. to go up here. Okay. And pull that down. Just pull it right off. It's on Velcro. Oh, so okay. smart. So now cool. you don't have to look up guess. there to yeah. guess where things are. You know that in, in cupboard number one, yep. you've got the linens. And in cupboard number two, you have winter, winter linen. Linens. And three, keepsakes. So I just want to point out, though, that I know this is high for us. Yes. <laughs> but these are things that you don't have to access on a regular basis, right. like keepsakes and off-season clothing. And I clothing. have a tall husband. You do. But even <laughs> when he's not around... 
Yeah. You've got a step stool. You've got your list. Perfect. You're good to go. There's a ton of photo albums. Lee and Maurizio had thousands of photos. We took them out of hiding and showcased some favorites. Hey, I took these. <laughs> You're and artist. you know what? The thing about photos, they looked great, yeah. but now when you blow them up, look yeah. at the impact they have. Oh, for sure. This is so cool. I forgot yeah. about those girls that I took a picture of. Oh, my wedding pictures. Now, that's, that's another so surprise. Yeah. That's another you got surprise. Pictures. It took a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. She did this for you. Oh. Mm. I feel s serene. <laughs> I'll sleep at night. I won't be pacing the hallways. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's it's great. It's uh, I just feel a lot more comfortable in my home. Cheers, to Helen. Helen.